Well, South Africa are in total control after the second day of the first test match here. The Dutch Bangla Bank series against Bangladesh as the host are trailing by 101 runs. And I'm alongside Eddie Rainsford. Eddie, another exciting day of cricket? Absolutely, Maza, absolutely. This is what Test Cricket is about. The first day we saw so many wickets fall, 16 wickets fall, and then the batters came back on day number two and said, you know what, we're going to find a way. We're going to find a way of scoring runs and putting a big lead on, and they put on a big lead of 202, and now Bangladesh are out there batting. Yeah, just having a look at the match summary here, South Africa going to post 308 and taking that valuable lead of 202. In reply, Bangladesh are 101 for three. And the 100 from Kyle Verena, outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And I think it's one of the hundreds he will cherish for a very long time. And, and more importantly, how he went about it. You look at his scoring options here. Beautiful piece of timing. He kept things very simple. But the one thing I really enjoyed was the sweep shot against the quality spin bowlers from, from Bangladesh. He played it with authority and he played it all around the wicket. And there's what it means to come to the subcontinent and get 100 in that fashion to put your, your team in this sort of position is very rewarding. And that's his second Test 100. The previous one was against New Zealand. That too in a pressure situation and that reflects his character as well. Yeah, he's a, he's a very dogged player. He's someone that wants to get into the scrap. He's someone that wants to be in those situations where he has to pull the team out of a difficult situation and put them in a better situation. And that's just his character. And talk about Bangladesh. They lost three early wickets yet again. Though there was a bit of partnership, but Mahmoud Sanjoy still hung in with experienced Mushfiqur Rahim. What do you expect in the third day? Wow, the third day for me, Maza, I, I thought the first day gave me a reflection on what's going to happen in the second day. And the second day didn't quite go the way. True, true, I, true. I think the batters are beginning to understand how to play on the surface. So the third day for me, I'm going to sit on the fence and just say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the safest thing to say. But having a look at the three wickets out there, the Bangladesh lost so far today. And Shadman Islam, once again, just couldn't make an impact. So does Skipper Nazmul Hussain, Shanto and Momin Ilhaq. I mean, this catch is really good by Tony Dezorzi. But who's the bowler? It's Hakiso Rabada, who makes things happen. A bit of pace, a bit of bounce. And you can see the smile on his face. And this is a good piece of bowling by Keshav Maharaj. He started to get into a little bit of a rhythm, found that bit of rough, and then brought about the dismissal of the captain of Bangladesh. So those three wickets, South Africa will be really happy with them. Bangladesh will be a little bit disappointed. I think at the end of the day, given the pressure situation, they would have been happier to lose two, but not three. Thank you very much, Eddie Rensport. A lot of work to be done, but tomorrow we have an exciting day of Test Match Cricket. We are starting early here at the Sher Bangla National Stadium in Mirpur, and we hope you'll join us. Until then, have a very good night.